Speed skating is such a highly technically demanding sport for hip structures. It's very important to maintain a routinely done stretching. And the most effective ones that we found in speed skating are three stretches. One of them is a, a pigeon stretch. It addresses the outside hip structures, uh, specifically the piriformis, the glute medius, and it's highly effective. So the way you do is you go to um, bring your knees 90 degrees and then you drop your hips and then you put your arms forward and you just kind of let your body sink into it. And you're supposed to hold this position to be effective for uh, 20 to uh, 30 seconds, um, probably two, three times. And that's um, recommended and this usually is supposed to be done um, post or after exercise to um, be more, uh, more um, beneficial. The next one is a frog stretch. Uh, this is another um, classic um, stretch that should address the um, adductors as well as um, lower back. So what you do is you, uh, you kneel down and then you drop your um, glutes down to your heels. And then with outstretched arms in the front, you kind of lean down and sink into your hips and you hold this position again for 20 to 30 seconds. Um, since this is done uh, post-exercise or after the exercise, and that way it's more effective. This can be also um, very um, relaxing for um, lower back um, muscle groups. So again, this is um, very effective to, um, to do um, routinely. The next stretch is um, called um, pretzel stretch. It can be also hip internal rotation. Uh, so what you do, you lie down on your back on the floor uh, with knees 90 degree bent, and then you bring one knee or one leg on the top of uh, the other leg, and then you drop it to the side. You bring your arms up and then they go to the opposite side. And then you keep your knees 90 degree bent. And then from here, once you find a comfortable position, you try to hold for about five seconds. And then you take a deep breath. And then while you're inhaling, you try to drop your knee a little bit further. And then once you reach this position, you try to rotate your arms up and you go all the way around. You can do it clockwise and counterclockwise movement. And again, this position should be hold, held for about 20 to 30 seconds. And this is the same stretch that needs to be done after the exercise. This will address, the, again, the outside hip structures as well as um, lower back and the upper thoracic region. So you do make sure you do the both sides. And again, it's the same um, procedure. Uh, you drop your knee to the side and then arms to the opposite side. And then you keep your shoulders in contact with the ground. And then you rotate your shoulders once you reach the comfortable position, clockwise and counterclockwise movement.